Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program. Yeah, I'm using my headset mic, so sorry if the uh, if my voice sounds a little strange. Also, we're uh, we're yawing quite hard actually here, because the angle that we're at. Okay, let me pull this up just a little bit more. There we go. Let it stabilize out a little bit. Yes, we have uh, a minimal typhoon following us. Uh, that'd be the Eurofighter two thousand uh, Eurofighter Typhoon EF two thousand. And I'm flying, uh, what is this, well, it's roughly based on a KC, KC, no, no, CK, KC, no, it's definitely KC-767, although uh, I'm calling it the uh, MK-767, because it's my uh, minimal form of it, and the K is just stands for tanker, essentially, because this is a giant, heavy, heavy tanker, and you can see, uh, we're barely able to keep altitude at this uh, rather low altitude, actually. But, uh, alright, trying to level it out a little bit. Now, we are having a bit of a mid-air emergency, I say just, just a bit. Okay, so what I've done is I've actually disabled fuel flow on the right wing and the main fuselage because the left wing is actually uh, draining of fuel at a, at a very slow rate. You can see this little effect there. Unfortunately, the effect isn't on the wing itself. That'd be cool. Or where I hit the wing. But basically, I lightly clipped the end of this wing on, on, uh, on the side of the runway. And I was barely moving, but it was enough to uh, cause a small leak. So right now, we're taking all of our fuel out of the left wing. And, uh, you know, so I use up the fuel out of the tank that's actually got a hole in it first. And then you know go from there and uh, you can see we also have a like I said I ha we have the Eurofighter Typhoon coming with us of course he um, he can't actually refill from us because we don't have uh, a docking port on here or a Kerbal attachment system or anything like that that would allow him to actually dock but that's okay I'm just kind of doing a, a slight a very slight turn you might have noticed I'm turning ever so slightly and uh, he's keeping up quite nicely because this is awesome because that's that's the way it works. But uh, I'm thinking, I'm trying to decide whether I want to go more to the left or not. I'm not sure. Um, I think I want to go ahead and uh, uh, I wish I could turn on the AI pilot on this and tell him to. Actually, can I? Can I? Let's see. Let's see what happens if I say command self. Uh, fly to position and then I say over there whoa that was close what the no 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 follow follow okay let's unselect you because I wasn't trying to tell you to go there I was trying to say myself myself fly oops fly fly to so, command self doesn't do what I thought it does. Alright, well then. Let's, uh, pull this roll back. Where? Is he all the way back there? Why are you all the way back there? Follow me. Follow. He certainly is taking a sweet time. Of course, uh, that plane does have, uh, the smaller engines on it, the, uh, Junos, and isn't the best at keeping up. But, uh, Whatever. I think I'm actually just going to go land this, and, uh, yeah, I think I'm just going to go land this and then tell the other plane to, uh, circle around the area, essentially, or land the other plane as well. It's too bad there's no button here to tell them to land. Of course, there's no landing AI yet, so that would probably explain why. Alright, I gotta remember there's an action group set to 9 that will uh, allow me to toggle thrust reversers. I'll definitely use that when I come in for a landing. <coughs> Let's see, we're definitely still only using fuel in this wing. Okay, we got half a tank left. Which is pretty good. Pretty good. This thing carries a ton of fuel, like, really does. Because, well, it's a tanker. That's what it does. I haven't bothered to, uh, by default, disable or enable any fuel, though, because I figured, I mean, if you want to disable the tank bit in the middle because, you know, it's a tanker and it shouldn't be uh, using that fuel, I mean, that's up to you. It doesn't really matter because you can transfer fuel around. Actually, no, I'm going to go edit this design and have it disabled by default. I decided to use the uh, Mark III cargo ramp as the rear part. I decided to use the Mark III cargo ramp because 
it has some empty space in the back here, and I figure when I add Kerbal Attachment System into here, then I could add a system in the back here for winching out a cable to do refueling with. But, uh, of course, we don't have that right now, so I don't have that right now. And has that plane catch caught up? He's still 2.9 kilometers out. He's probably going to start catching up now, though, because uh, what happened was I was going too fast, and I've slowed down quite a bit now. I need to uh, drop altitude a bit quicker, I believe. Yeah, we're definitely going too fast. We're also going to be going too low for his altitude, the altitude he wants to go at. Alright. Let's take a look at... Uh, where is it? We have a thing somewhere. Oh, altitude, terrain. 800 meters. 700. 500. 400. 300. Alright, well, not quite 300, but... Alright, I believe we should probably put the uh, brakes on. How's our altitude doing? 200 approximately. All right, let's, let's let her fall just a little bit more. All right, our speeds are starting to drop. Good, good, good. Remember, I need to f actually, let's turn the brakes on. And I'm gonna need to floor it and hit nine at the same time. Oh dear, um, I get the distinct feeling that, uh, that was not a good landing. Okay, let's, uh, let's get to the plane that's following us, theoretically following us. Yeah, you can see, ha, this thing's leaking all over the place. Look at that, it's all crumpled, I like that. Yeah, I updated Kerbal, uh, Kerbal, Kerbal, what's it called, Kerbal Crash System? And uh, as you can see, it's done some cool stuff. So let's uh, just deactivate the pilot, throttle down, and I believe he's yep, he's just passed over the crash site. So I'm gonna have him turn around. Actually, I'm gonna have him do kind of a loop, loop like this to uh, lose altitude. And we're gonna come in and land with him. All right. All right. Looks good. Let's bring it down. I did not mean to go down that fast. Oh well, everything's fine. Oops, we're in the air again. All right. Here we are, down on the ground. Oh, shit. I accidentally hit uh, the gear button. All right, safely landed. Yeah, that didn't go so well. Where's the plane? It's like over there. I think that's it. Yep. Oops. Yeah. Let's go back to uh, the plane, and uh, we can go ahead and set this in standby, active, and we can put on his freaking guard menu. Cause why not? I mean, I don't intend to use it, but uh, if I do use it, he's ready. So let's see, this has some damage and is very slowly leaking. Oh, damn it, I hit the wrong button. This one is 563% damage. Yeah, it's mangled and empty. This one, uh, pretty damaged and also ran out of fuel entirely. The uh, tail, <laughs> wow. Oh my god, they, they definitely made the crumples on, on Kerbal Crash System better. This is very nice. This is a big old wing bit. This bit still has fuel in it, apparently. Or maybe it's, uh, you know what it is? It's because there's, <laughs> there's an intake air resource in here. So it's technically leaking air, even though it's not really getting air. Which is great. Let's see, what's this? Oh, it's uh, the tail piece. 
tail. This is the top tail piece, and it's got the decal. It's it hit the ground so hard the decal fell off. No, <laughs> like that's kind of funny. Ah, look at that. Wow, I really like the look of this. I'm gonna have to crash something else. So out of these newer designs, and well, some of the older ones, I don't remember exactly what's new and what's not new relative to when I made a video showing these earlier with the uh, the one that was entitled some BD Armory Combat or something like that. Yeah, this is a very basic turret, flak cannon turret. And there's also a, uh, this, which you've already seen this. This is the uh, SAM site I've been using. Pretty nice, I think. And I actually tried to make a version without wheels and it exploded spontaneously and crashed and it was horrible. And no, I've already shown the M22. Okay, I was going to show the M22, but I've already shown that. So I guess we'll go with uh, M86, which is based off of an F86 Sabre. And yeah, I guess we'll just fly this a little bit. Okay, guns. If you uh, didn't see, come on, come on, come on, turn, turn, and that was nice. If you didn't see, what was it? I made a video about something, oh yeah, uh, Euro Truck Simulator vlog thing. Yes, I, uh. I mentioned these, that I'm making these, and the purpose of these, uh, hopefully, is to do some sort of... What am I locking? Oh yeah, there's a SAM site over there, isn't there? I'm. Uh, the purpose of these is to play some sort of... Oh god! War game. Ah, oh, dear. Play some sort of war game. With the... Wow. I broke off the uh, ammo, didn't I? Yeah. Play some sort of war game with the... Damn it, I can't think. My brain is being derp. A war game with these Kerbal Warfare stuff. Combat. Yeah, okay, the ammo is definitely intact. Why can we not... Oh, it's because we don't have a... What? Okay. I can I can manually fire a gun. Oh, never mind. That's just all of them firing. That's pretty great. So, uh, BD Armory, why'd you reset my settings? Probably because when I updated it, I forgot to reset the settings. And we're out of ammo. Now for a brief real flight, and uh, not crashing, and then uh, I think that's about it for now. I'm just kind of, just... So I don't know exactly when my headset died, because it didn't make a sound when it died that time, but uh... I was trying to explain that, uh, hopefully, I, uh, ooh, hopefully I will 
be doing a combat thing soon, a multiplayer combat thing. Hopefully I will be able to invite you to it, like invite random people, I don't know. Um, if nothing else, I'll be doing stuff as kind of a test run. <laughs> test run. And uh, for now though, this is a uh, F-86 essentially, but it's a minimal F-86. I'm quite happy with it. The uh, I made a, a MiG-15 MiG essentially. But, uh, the, you know, in an F-86 and a MiG-15 are actually very similar, at least in looks and uh, performance to a certain extent. And, yeah, I, uh, I'm, I'm not going to play with the uh, MiG-15 right now, though. I'll do some sort of combat thing with these two facing off against each other, I'm sure, at some point. But uh, for now, that's about it. I'm just flying this around a little bit and uh, saying, check the description if there's a... Uh, if I have done a multiplayer thing, if I'm starting it, if it's ready enough, it will be in the description. If not, which is honestly the more likely scenario, then obviously it won't be in the description. But uh, I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Thanks for watching, and as always, I'll see you in space.